To draw the resonance structures for NO2 minus the nitrite ion, we'll start with the Lewis structure here. So we have our Lewis structure. You can see we have a double bond here and a single bond and a formal charge of minus one on the oxygen with the single bond. Our goal is to figure out all of the resonance structures, the major resonance structures for NO2 minus. So when we're working with resonance, we often talk about pushing electrons. So let's copy this Lewis structure and see how that works. You'll note that both resonance structures, they're valid Lewis structures, and that they have the same number of valence electrons. And we've not moved any atoms. All we can do when we're doing resonance structures is move electrons. Further, those electrons have to be lone pairs or in a pi bond, like a double or a triple bond. So let's take this pair of electrons and move it out here on the oxygen. We could then take this pair of electrons and form a double bond with the nitrogen. So let's do that below. So I take this pair here and I move it over here. And I take this pair here and I move it to form a double bond. Clean it up a bit. And when I do that, the formal charge is on this oxygen here, the one with the single bond. So because this follows the general rules we have here, this is a valid Lewis structure for the nitrite ion. You might say that it's really just the same thing as what we had originally. That's because this is considered an equivalent resonance structure for NO2 minus. So we can put them next to each other. And by convention, we'll put this double-ended arrow between them. So these are the two equivalent resonance structures for NO2 minus. We should also put brackets around them and we're done. This is how you draw the two equivalent resonance structures for NO2 minus. There really aren't any other ways you can arrange these electrons and still follow these rules. Note that these two resonance structures aren't switching back and forth. We're really describing the same molecule. And if we looked at that molecule in the lab, we measured its bond lengths and so on, it would look like this, an average of these two resonance structures. So we don't have the double and the single, or here the single and the double. We have an average, kind of like a 1.5 bond. This is Dr. B with the two equivalent resonance structures for NO2 minus. Thanks for watching.